Alright, what is up guys? Welcome to episode 3 of the Hardcore Iron Man. Ton of Slayer again this episode. I uh, just want to grind out my 87 goal. Get that tried and move on to other stuff. So, a lot of Slayer, a lot of levels, a lot of gains in this episode. 78 attack coming in. Very, very nice. Ninety-two HP coming in. Always nice getting HP levels. Never know when uh, that one HP level might uh, save your life one day. Well, that's that task done. Unfortunately, no superiors, which is uh, pretty depressing considering <laughs> it's an extended neck reel task with the bracelets. So it was probably around like a three hundred kill uh, neck reel task without a superior, but. That's fine, I did get like um, three ancient shards of this uh, task, so that'd be nice to uh, replenish some of the charges in my arc light that I used when I was grinding for the whip. I just had that necreal task. I get black dragons, so I just kill 19 of the little black dragons. Straight back to necreals, and 248, that's such a big task of necreals. Ah, <sighs> Steve, you're a good man. Gotta go make some more jewellery for this one though, uh, I have run out of my bracelets of slaughter, I've only got one left, so let's go mine some gems and then get back to uh, back to uh, 200k mage in an hour. <laughs> Man, it's a good day. Alright, the bracelets have been made, let's get on with this task. There is 90 magic, uh, I actually got back to back ancient shards earlier which was uh, pretty cool. Alright, that's the Necreal task done. He had another task about a superior, which kind of sucks, but I did get a lot of ancient shards in this task, so I cannot complain. Guys, it's gonna happen again. My tasks at the moment literally could not be better. Necreals, Black Dragon. Necreals, Black Dragon, Dust Devils. <laughs> Let's go. Alright, so I have a lot of Alks from my Necreal and Dust Devil tasks, and I figured now would be a good time to use them since I'm on an Anku task. Ankus don't really hit me too hard, and I can just Alk in between every two hits, so... Probably just gonna do that now. Um, running really low on cash as well, so... I'm gonna need a lot more cash if I'm to buy runes for upcoming burst tasks. But yeah, the amount that I have is quite a bit. Um, yeah, 2.147 mil, so... Be really nice to out all those during the task and uh, get a nice cash stack. Alright, so it didn't take too long, only got 7 rune axes left. Um, guess I'll just go back to get another task and uh, finish off alking the rest of these rune axes. Currently sitting at 2.2 mil, which is very nice, and we get Abyssal Demons. Very, very nice. Definitely a nice task to see. Seventy nine attack and 107 combat. Very, very nice. Just got another superior Abbey Demon, so uh, good luck me. Alright, superior Abbey Demon down. No luck with the loot, but uh, Slayer XP drop definitely makes up for that. Oh, and there is 86 Slayer. One more level, guys. One more. Another superior Abbey Demon dead. Another Pogchamp XP drop. Well, if there's one thing on my account that I can definitely appreciate, it's my task luck. Uh, I think my task streak at the moment is Necreals, Black Dragons, Necreals, Black Dragons, Dust Devils, Abyssal Demons, Dust Devils. This 87 Slayer is going to come very quickly if these tasks keep up, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm quite enjoying Slayer at the moment. Eight Skeletal Wyverns. Um, very quick task, I'm actually going to give a try at meleeing these. My melee stats aren't actually bad anymore and I have the Abyssal Whip, so I guess we'll see how it goes. Alright, so I had a medium clue and a hard clue sitting in my bank uh, for a while, just from Slayer. So I figured I'd just do them, and I was able to complete the hard clue, and I'm pretty sure I can complete every single medium clue, so... I'm just gonna go to the bank quickly and uh, get some free inventory space so that I can open these up without every item dropping on the floor. Get rid of this adamant set. Alright, um, I think I'll open the medium first. Uh, nothing special, I mean, adamant heraldic shields aren't really used for anything at all. <laughs> Hard clue next. Ooh, a Zamorak page. 
if I don't have that one already, which I'm pretty sure I don't, I'm pretty sure I have page three, then that'll be my second Zamorak page, I think. Yeah, I have two Zamorak page threes, so... I mean, I can't complain about a Zamorak page, that's sick. Um, again, I'm not really closer to completing any books, I have two of a lot of sets. But uh, the Zamorak book would definitely be a nice one to complete, so uh, very nice. Uh, pretty surprised with how well this task is going, to be honest. Um, I'm hitting pretty well. Especially considering the fact that I completely forgot my attack and strength potions. Uh, when I come here it's normally just a safe spot range. So all I bring is food, I'm not used to bringing anything else, so I just completely forgot it, completely passed my mind. But uh, just about to finish off this task and uh, probably going to melee these in the future. Uh, I wasn't expecting to hit much at all, but uh, I've been hitting pretty well. So that's very nice to know. Right, there is 80 attack. Uh, going to move to defense training now until I'm at base 80s, and then probably going to go controlled or rush 99 strength. I'm not sure yet. But uh, yeah, that's also the Wyvern task done. So we'll go get another task. Alright, there's a King Kurask down. Uh, not much in regards of loot, but a uh, nice XP drop. Alright, just about to finish off this Marvel Gargoyle. Just got to smash it with a rock hammer quick before it destroys my life with melee. Uh, Rue to age, that's actually very nice Alk, so uh, also a nice XP drop. Alright, second Marble Gargoyle of this task. Another nice XP boost and uh, Gold Ore and Death Runes. Not bad. Alright, I have arrived at Duradel for my 300th task, so Kurasks. That's very, very nice. Um, haven't had too many Kurask tasks recently, so my supplies have been uh, dwindling a little. But that would be very nice to get them off again. Right, and there it is, 300 tasks in a row for 225 points. Those points are actually going to be really, really nice for when I uh, come to skipping tasks for Kraken if I decide to do that. I'm going to be needing a lot of points if um, if I don't get lucky with a trident, so it's going to be really, really nice. But uh, something else to mention, um, my Kurask KC at the moment is 1747. I don't have a leaf bladed battle axe. Game please. <laughs> So I've just got another gargoyle task, uh, I think it's yep, 238 gargoyles, so it's going to be really really nice for the cash stack, cash stack is going to be building up a lot over the uh, the next couple days probably, just from the uh, remaining uh, 87 slayer grind, I've also got a ton of battle staffs at the moment, which is, um, I'm not sure how much this would actually be worth, because I'm going to be turning them into uh, fire, battle, fire battle staffs, which I'm pretty sure are over like 2k more than the actual battle stuff value so I might have like a good 13 14 mil just sitting right there but I obviously still need to uh, runecraft all the runes to uh, enchant the orbs but uh, that's not any trouble it doesn't take long to enchant the orbs at all um, I did 4k at once and uh, I think that took me around I can't remember how long that took me but uh, it doesn't take long at all it's a very quick process with 81 agility which is uh, nice I think it's 80 agility actually yes yeah, 80 but yeah, uh, Gargoyle Task Slayer, cash tag is going to be building up a lot. It's going to be really nice for when I decide to buy Gold Ore to get to 83 Smithing, which is, I believe, around 25k Gold Ore with uh, the Gauntlets. But uh, yeah, that will be for the Lumbridge Elite when I do uh, get around to doing that. And that uh, will be very nice. Just really, really nice to have like a ton of cash for uh, construction smithing on uh, an Iron Man. Uh, I've definitely been running low and uh, I didn't think I'd have enough for construction as well as smithing but with the cash that I've gotten from the huge Slayer grind that I've done at the moment and uh, the battle stars as well, definitely think I can manage so uh, it's going to be really nice. Get that green cash stack coming back soon. I think I'm going to start taking um, just a crystal bow for when I decide to go to Gargoyles just in case of a superior spawn. I mean, the extra range is nice, and I'm pretty sure a crystal bow is higher DPS than a rune crossbow. But uh, it saves me an inventory space as well, so hopefully that works out alright. Just got a clue scroll, um, 193 kills left on my gargoyle task. Is it completable? That is the spirit tree in the uh, tree known village, I do believe. So, uh, first step is completable. Hopefully, we get some good luck with the rest. Right, that's the Gargoyle task done. A stack of Pure Essence is absolutely beautiful. 3,000 just from this task alone. 
definitely becoming one of my uh, favorite tasks. Um, I mean, it was already, but uh, just surprises me every single time, like the amount of supplies that I end up with. The cash stack too, growing uh, every single gargoyle task. I believe this was a task of 238. 3,000 pure essence, 30 mithril bars. Mithril bars are going to be adding up over time. Very, very nice for darts, fletching experience, as I am uh, doing agility or something else. Uh, steel bars probably won't end up using, but uh, yeah, gold ore as well is building up, which I will be using for uh, getting my ED3 smithing, which is very nice, uh, saving me money in the long run. But yeah, I've I cannot believe I got 3,000 pure essence just from this task. Definitely, uh, definitely helping me on my way to 71 runecrafting. So I've been getting quite a lot of wilderness uh, steps on my clues lately, and I figured, you know, the amount of clues I'm dropping, you know, it's just it's just not worth it really, so uh, I need to get a Scorpio kill anyway, so I figured I may as well do this one, but uh, yeah, it's not like a dangerous area at all, like no one really PKs here at all, it's, it's not like a hotspot or anything, so uh, I'm just going to run there quick, um, I'll dig here, bring a spade with me, maybe some Ivans and some Snare for Scorpia. And uh, yeah, it should be a uh, it should be pretty fun. Right, so I'm sure you guys know that uh, I still need the palm tree seed for my Ardoin hard diary. So I think I'm gonna come back to Miscellanea maybe once every two days just to see if I can get lucky with it. Um, if at all possible, I'd like to minimize the amount of days that I have my Miscellanea on ten maples. Um, I shouldn't be doing this anyway because it's not really efficient. I should just wait and uh, be patient. But I would like to get this diary done. So, uh, the, you know, the sooner I can get it back to 10 herbs, 5 maples, the better, really. So, I've just been, well, I've just come here, going to collect, um, see if I get lucky, and uh, afterwards I'm more than likely just going to go to Lumbridge Basement and uh, fletch by the Cullinaromancer's chest whilst I buy grapes. Uh, getting my cooking up would be nice for some diaries, and uh, fletching up too for diaries also. And uh, internet's a little shaky at the moment, uh, getting quite a bit of FPS lag, and uh, it's kind of hard to one tick flick Slayer with uh, FPS lag, so, you know, just something nice in AFK whilst uh, the internet isn't as good. But I'm uh, going to collect my resources, so I did get 100% approval just now. And uh, 11 nests, um, pretty small chance of getting a palm tree seed from that but I guess we can see if we do get lucky still got 3.2 mil in there which is very very nice uh, I guess I may as well just go to the Lumbridge basement chest to uh, see what uh, tree seeds I can get from this alright so moment of truth 11 birds nests can I get a palm tree seed there's an apple tree seed that's a papaya tree seed, which is actually very nice. That has a lot of experience. Acorn seed, do not plant them. Curry tree seeds. Another apple tree seed. Banana tree seed. Maple, which is pretty nice. Another banana. Willow. Apple tree seed. Acorn. <laughs> oh man. I wonder, I wonder really uh, how long this uh, palm tree seed is going to take to get. Kind of debating if it's uh, worth having my miscellaneous on 10 maples or not. I am definitely being very impatient, but uh, I would very much like to get the Ardoin hard diary just done out the way. Cape would be very nice for Slayer, so uh, just certain tasks where it is uh, nice. But uh, I guess I would just have to be patient and uh, it will come in the future but uh probably just gonna sit down here and fletch for a while buy some grapes and uh just chill back for a bit <laughs> 77 fletching um rune brutal hour uh, i can't speak rune brutal arrows and rune javelins uh not useful at all really um Basically what I'm doing at the moment is I'm buying grapes from this store. Uh, not many of the worlds have stock in at the moment, so uh, fletching quite a good bit at the moment. But uh, whenever I hit a uh, hop limit, I'll just uh, take out some maples, fletch them. Um, still got like 6k maples left in the bank, so a good amount of fletch. A uh, good amount of bowstring, and uh, flax will turn into bowstring when I decide to do that. And uh, a nice 8 K understrung maple longbows, but uh, 
How many grapes am I sitting at the moment? 615 grapes. So uh, I started off at about 80 and I already have like 615, which is actually a really nice amount of cooking experience. I believe there's 200, 220 XP for each one. Not sure which, but uh, yeah, wines are a very good experience. Uh, I've already made 3.2K and that got me around six levels, I believe from 70, either 73 or 74 to uh, 79, which I currently have now. But uh, some of the diaries do require an extremely high cooking level. So uh, doing this every now and again when I feel like uh, doing it or whenever my internet's unstable is uh, very beneficial to the account. Well, there's yet another fletching level, uh, 78 fletching. Uh, still trying to buy out grapes, though um, the worlds are pretty full at the moment, so it's pretty hard to... Uh, find worlds with uh, stacks of 10. Most of them is just like 3, 4, so I've been uh, slowly accumulating grapes, but I uh, don't have, like, I haven't gotten as many as I did the last time, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so I've only had like 300, 400 more since uh, the last level. So uh, 1k grapes still uh, very nice. Hopefully uh, the worlds die down a bit and uh, I could get some uh, stocks of 10. Okay, so I've just got 79 fletching and I think I'm just going to stop here. Pretty much run out of maples, uh, not enough for the next level at least, and uh, I don't really have enough bowstring to warrant uh, stringing my maple longbows yet. Just going to wait until I have enough runes to uh, spin all of this flax with the uh, spin flax spell, my lunar spell book. I'm pretty sure it's uh, really, really good for crafting XP, so it'd be nice when I can get around to doing that. Hopefully I get a, a good amount of runes off of uh, my ZMI grind when I get around to that to... Uh, do that with and um as far as fletching maples goes i'm probably just going to wait until i get more from miscellanea and uh the good thing about that is uh i can also do it whilst i'm buying gold ore because uh i will be hitting hop limit when i'm buying gold ore also because i do one inventory per hop um when i was doing my 75 uh, smithing grind that's what i did and i calculated how much money um, I'd be spending extra if I was to buy like two inventories and then hop worlds instead of just buying one and then hopping worlds and I'm pretty sure I would have spent like over a mil more. I, I, that's, I you know, like my money's not endless. It, I don't have enough to the point where I would warrant like spending an extra mil just to save myself a bit of time, so... I'm fine doing one inventory per world, but uh, yeah, I mean just having the maples there is very nice, it means that uh, I'm not just staring at a layout screen, so <laughs> I guess that's for the future of uh, the smithing, fletching and uh, grape buying. Also forgot to show, but I did manage to get 1.3k grapes in the time that I got those fletching levels, so uh, very nice. Um, I'm not sure how many levels that'll get me, maybe like close to 81, but uh, it'll be nice to get 80 at least, because uh, that means that I will be able to cook sharks, um, I'll be able to get a good amount of XP from that, I think I've got like, yeah, 182 sharks banked, so uh, that's a nice little bit of XP, um, I could probably get to uh, maybe even 82 with uh, the grapes and the sharks in the bank, but uh, yeah, that's uh, very very nice. So I think I'm just going to do a farm run and then probably just call it a night. Currently uh, 3.30 a.m. so I should definitely be sleeping right now but uh, you know why not make a video. <laughs> um, I just bought my uh, daily battle staffs from uh, Zaf's store. Uh, nice 60 a day definitely adds up. Currently sitting at over 1,000 now and uh, that is a lot of money. Um, if I just look up the out price of a fire battle staff, if I can find one. Should be in this tab. Does it show if I examine here? So high elk is nine thousand three hundred, and I have one thousand fifty one here. If I just pull up the calculator, nice voice crack because it's late and my voice is short. <laughs> All right, so one thousand fifty one. That's nine. 9,774,300 GP just sitting there, waiting to, uh, waiting to be taken.
So uh, all I need to do really is charge the uh, fire orbs. I've still got 32, almost 33,000 unpowered orbs from my crafting grind in the bank. So uh, all I need to do is get the cosmic greens for those. Still have a good amount of Z from uh, ZMI. And then charge the orbs. Won't take any more than like three, four hours, if that. I'm really not sure. I do have the shortcut, which is nice. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much just 10 mil sitting right there. And I got uh, my nice four mil cash stack here, pretty much. Well, 3.5, same thing. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'll be sitting at a uh, nice green cash stack afterwards, which would be very nice for my construction and smithing grind. <sighs> very, very nice. I just got a second short left half. I'm not wearing a ring of wealth, though. What is the rarity of that? I mean, I guess I can't complain. I have a placeholder left half. <laughs> um, placeholder dragon square, I guess. Um. Okay, when I was taking off my ring of life, I didn't expect to get the drop more often. Maybe I should have been wearing this from the start. That is very interesting. <laughs> Come to Bloodveld for your RDT hits, guys. <laughs> Alright, I missed the level, but there is 76 defense. Uh, now that my attack is 80, I will be leveling my defense to 80 also. And then I have a rushing 99 strength with a skim, I'll go and control with the whip. Alright, completed a medium clue that I got on my Dagonov task. So uh, good luck me and rangers, that's not rangers, but there's a lot of pink, wow, <laughs> uh, pink headband and pink elegant legs, I already have a headband so that's not too useful to me, but uh, I guess it is unique, so I cannot really complain, but uh, that fashion scape though, <laughs> a pink headband with the pink elegant legs, uh, damn. Alright, there are 77 defense and 108 combat, very nice. Alright, that's a superior blood veil down. Massive XP drop and not much for loot, but uh, totem pieces and sold heads are always nice to get from those. Alright, there is 77 defense and 180 combat coming in. Creeping close to that 110 combat mark, which would look very nice. Alright, I missed the level again, but there is 78 defense. Yet another defense level, 79 defense, one more until I move back to attack. Alright, there is the last defense level for a while. A defense is going to be focusing mainly on attack from now on. Decided to extend Krakens, just don't really want to start searching for the tasks, forget and get a smaller task than I uh, could have gotten. Alright, there is 93 hit points, and also 109 combat. One more for that big one turn. Well, uh, this has definitely been uh, quite the grind. One elf kill left. And I will be hitting the 87. There it is. There it is, guys. 87 Slayer. You can now go Cave Kraken. Ah, oh, that is so nice to see. This is uh, this has been quite the grind. But uh, it's been pretty enjoyable, to be honest. Um, since uh, this is the first account that I've actually one tick flicked on, because I learned it on this account, um, just playing like efficiently has actually been kind of fun. Alright, let's say Elf Task done. Time to start hunting that Kraken task. Alright, moment of truth. Kraken task first try, let's go. I mean, that's not bad. <laughs> Thanks, Dorado. Um, I guess I'll do this. I really want a Kraken task, so I really just want to kind of burn skips, but uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not skipping dust levels, not at all. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll do Last tasks and like blood builds the tasks at really good XP. Maybe skip blood builds because they take forever, but just like really, really good XP tasks, I'll uh, do everything else I will skip because uh, I do have 989 points to burn, so 
and I definitely want to get this uh, trident as soon as possible so I can start doing some actual content for you people, you nice people who are watching my videos, so <laughs> yeah, that is the plan. Alright, so my Camtasia kind of messed up the recording because uh, I didn't have the uh, program open when I was recording, but uh, 158 Cave Kraken could have definitely gotten a bigger task, so a little bummed about that, but I'm going to be using my Bracelet of Slaughter to extend the task, so uh, should hopefully get around 200 kills out of this. Good luck me on the trident. Alright, so um, pretty inconvenient time for an update since I'm just about to ta start my uh, Kraken task. And I really want to get on with this, so I'm probably going to go on the regular client, so uh, you're probably going to see some uh, some nice regular client content, but, uh, well, balls! <laughs> um, I think all I need to do is just, like, attack these and then a little Kraken will uh, pop up, but I'm not going to do it yet because I don't want to be, like, attacking a Kraken and then just get logged off because of the system update. But, uh, yeah, I believe that's the uh, Kraken boss, but uh, I'm going to be killing the little ones for the uncharged trident, and once I get that, I can move on to the larger ones, so... Uh, Hopefully I can get lucky with this. Definitely, um, I think out of all the items I've gone for, this is the the main one that I do not want to be able to try on because it requires a task and I'm going to be burning for a lot of my points. I've used about 120 points so far. I think I skipped three or four tasks. But uh, we'll be using the bracelets of slaughter, so like I said, around 200 kills out of this task. So uh, good luck me. I will see you on the regular client, I guess, if uh, Elspady doesn't update it automatically. Alright, so, um, OS Buddy's actually working, which is very nice. Always nice for uh, OS Buddy to load up faster than the uh, regular client does. But uh, I guess I'm gonna get started on, uh, trying to get my trident. So, uh, good luck me. Okay, well, um, I've only got 14 charges left on my Ivan Star. Still how many left the task? 35 left on the task, so I'm probably just gonna get some chaos runes and uh just uh bolt the rest of these kills more than likely. And uh yeah, no trident yet, unfortunately. Um I'll check my KC after this kill. But it's looking like we're gonna have to get um another task for this one. Hopefully the next time I get a task it'll be a bit bigger. Um debating whether I should recharge my ovens or not. Probably be worth it, but I kind of just want to finish off the rest with uh, burst spells, to be honest. Uh, bolt spells, not burst spells, but yeah, 171 KC. Um, they're 1 in 200, so I haven't hit the drop rate yet, you know, I, I can't complain or anything, but it would have been nice to get this lucky, but I'm really hoping that I get it at uh, the rest of this task. Uh, I do have the bracelets still, and I do have enough to uh, last me for the rest of this task, so it'll probably be about 40. I say about 40 more kills left of this one, and my Ivan Staff is out of charges. Alright, let's go get some bolt spells, finish off this task. Hopefully, I can get the trident, but uh, I don't see it happening, to be honest. <laughs> okay, so I lied. I'm actually going to use blood spells to kill the rest of these uh, cave krakens and probably the rest of the cave krakens that I do plan on killing. Uh, I have a ton of blood runes just accumulated from Slayer and I don't really use them because I don't blood burst any tasks. So uh, I'm also going to be getting like a ton when I start Barrows which is as soon as I get the Trident which isn't far away at all so figured may as well just use them up now and get faster kills. Well guys, one Kraken left on the task. No Trident yet which is um Kind of painful. It would have been very nice to uh, just get this trident out the way. But it looks like I'm going to be using up a lot of my Slayer points. Um, I really want this trident and I'm debating skipping every single task that isn't a Kraken task. Just like I was I was going to skip every single task apart from net creoles and dust devils and just carry on slaying like as I normally would because I know it's a huge waste just to waste points like this and I should just do the tasks that are good XP. I just really want this trident so I can move on to other things other than slayer because I don't want to keep doing slayer and that's the task done. No trident so uh, we are back to Duradel I guess. Um, yeah, I really I really want to get this trident. I have 1k points to burn. Though I just um I just burnt like 
90 or 120 skipping tasks. Uh, man. Where's my KC? 217, so we are 17 over the drop rate, which, uh, yeah, it's kind of painful. Um, but like I said, I really want to get this trident, so I just, I don't want to get like a burst task because it, it, you know, I have to go on ancient, so I have to buy the runes. You know, that they're, they're not, they're not long tasks. Necreals are decently long because I'd be using a slaughter bracelet for it. I wouldn't be wasting the task if I was to do, do it. Um, you know, may as well just make the most of it if I was going to, but I think I'm just going to keep skipping tasks until I get down to maybe 200 points, and then I guess I'll just have to go back to Slayer like normally. But that's the plan for now, maybe uh, start doing burst tasks once I hit 500 points, but uh, we'll see how long it takes to get a task, I guess. So there's this graph for task weight um, that I've been looking at uh, every now and again, just to uh, like see different task weights of different tasks. And it shows Duradel as having a higher task weight for Kraken, but uh, because of the different way that like total task weight works and what I have blocked works, um, I've actually got a better chance, I think, of getting them from Neve, unless, or Steve in my case, unless uh, I did the calculations wrong. So. I guess I'm going to be attempting to get my Kraken tasks from Steve now, which I mean, it's a win-win because it's so much easier getting to Steve for me at the moment, so since I don't have Kuram Jahad, I have to go to Brimhaven and then pay the uh, 200 to get down into Charlotte Village and then go to Duradel that way, and it's, it's kind of a pain going back there, so I guess win-win really, wish me luck on the Kraken task, let's hope I don't have to burn all my points to get one. <laughs> okay. That was a lot of skips. That hurt, man. That hurt inside. 539 points left. I believe that was 12 or 13 skips. Jeez. Um, feels kind of worth it because, again, I've got like another 220 kills to get or to have a chance of getting the trident. And I think I will keep on skipping until I have to just do Slayer normally just to regain the points. I'm on my 316th task now, so four after that and I will get my point boost, so I'll be able to get some more skips from that. But uh, let's just hope that I don't have to worry about that because I'm going to get the trident this task and uh, we're going to get on to some actual content. Um, I think I'm going to run out of my bracelets this task as well so um i mean i've only got two charges left on this one and a full one here and that's all i have left so if i don't get the trident in the uh charges that i have left i'm gonna have to go mine some more gems which is going to be kind of annoying but it's gotta be done gotta extend this task as much as i can to get this trident wish me luck um yeah i've run out of the bracelets so I'm gonna have to go mine some more uh, red topaz make some more bracelets and then come back um, 69 left on the task uh, so my KC is currently at 333 133 over the drop rate so almost double the drop rate don't really see myself getting this trident anytime soon with the way things are going. It's kind of crappy, but I guess wish me luck, but I'm probably going to end up with zero slay points and no Kraken tasks left and no trident. And uh, it's, it's not it's not a good day. Well, this is the uh, last kill of the second task. No trident. It's getting pretty frustrating. And uh, I don't imagine I'm going to get anything this cool either. Task done. Nothing. Okay. Whew. 422 KC. 
no trident. Back to uh, Steve to blow the rest of my points, I guess. I, I'm actually kind of doubtful now that I'm even going to get a trident before wasting every point that I have. So, probably going to be back to uh, Grinding Slayer, so sorry for the bad content, but I uh, just have shitty luck, I guess. Well, this is it guys, this is my last chance of getting a trident. 83 slayer points left. I have earned a thousand, I have gotten 422 KC for a 1 in 200 drop, and I do not have it. Should be able to get about 220, 230 kills from this task because of the bracelets. If I don't get it in this task, it's going to be back to slayer for probably about another day or two, so I guess wish me luck all the contents gonna fall. <laughs> 92 mage, still no trident, fun fun. Well, I've got one kill left on my task. I don't have trident yet. <laughs> Six hundred and fifty two dry. I mean I I don't I don't know what to say. I didn't think I'd go this dry. I'm out of slayer points. I can't skip any more tasks. It's the one item that I didn't want to go dry on and I'm quite a bit over three times the drop rate. And I can't even hunt for it anymore because I don't have the slayer points to skip tasks. So I'm very frustrating. But I guess my goals are going to be on hold because I can't get a 1 in 200 drop in 652 kills. Because I just have to go dry on everything it seems. Um, I guess I'm going to be going back to Slayer then for another week, just so I can get this stupid trident. I guess at least I'll get the point boost soon. But that's not going to give me too many skips, that's two skips and an extra 15 points, so... <sighs> Back to uh, Slayer, I guess. <sighs> Alright. I did a few tasks. <coughs> Black Dragons was my 320th. I got two off, I skipped them. 194 Cave Kraken. If I do not get the trident in this task with the bracelets, this game is broken. It's done. <sighs> I cannot tell you how relieved I am right now. Whew. How many do I still have left on this task? <laughs> I guess we have some uh, good amount of the Kraken boss to do, huh guys? Um, we got it! Yes! That is such a relief. I thought that was going to take a lot longer than it did. Time for some content, guys.
All right, well, that was uh, definitely quite the reaction, huh? Um, I'm probably going to get some people roast me uh, in the comments or that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, if I can, I'm not going to like try to justify myself or anything. Like, it's not a bad thing that I reacted in that kind of way over pixels in a video game, you know. Uh, <laughs> um, I mean, it was just a relief, to be honest. It wasn't even the fact that I got pixels in a game. It's just I've been going for that for I think pretty much the entire day. Uh, definitely more than like a six hour grind straight and I just completely you know I, I burnt all of my Slayer points I had none left and I just had to go back to Slayer normally and you know getting that goal of 87 grinding all the way from I believe 72 to 87 pretty much in one go it's, it's a grind and once you get there you know you want to be rewarded for it you don't want to have to go back to the grind just to uh just to get that small chance of what you've been hunting for this entire time. So it was just kind of demot demotivating. So when I got that drop, it was just, it was huge relief. And that's that's what my reaction was. It was just 100% relief and just shock, to be honest, because I thought I was never getting that fucking trident. <laughs> to be completely honest with you, you know, when you go that dry on something, it just feels like it's never going to happen. But it did happen. 655 kills in, but yeah. That's going to be it for this episode. Hopefully you guys did enjoy and look forward to the next one. Peace.